<laughs> and so maybe I should have thought of this thing first. Um, who was there preparing something? Do you even remember? Yeah, it was something. <laughs> but there was room to dance on the linoleum floor. And we went into the, uh, the kitchen. Uh, large space, linoleum floor. Large island thing to work on. I seem to remember that. Three doors along the left, refrigerator, stove, that sort of thing. Along the right. Plenty of room to dance. And so they began. Now the footwork of Road to the Isle, if you've never tried it, there's a little footwork at the beginning. And it's uh, a set of three, a set of three, and then a set of three, three, four. Right? No, three, three, two. I just remember a lot of crashing. Yes, there is a lot of crashing because <laughs> there's, there's a lot of that. And, and Chandler did indeed stumble along, as most new people with that dance did. I'm not sure. Oh, and uh, then came the, uh, the, the traversal across the hall. Now, the traversal is one, two, three, hop, one, two, three, hop and turn, one, two, three, hop, one, two, three, hop and turn, and then it goes on from there. So they started with Chandler kind of being dragged along. One, two, three, hop. And Chandler had some music ex musical experience, so he figured one, two, three, hop is followed by one, two, three, hop. And so he did. One, two, three, hop, followed by one, two, three, hop. Marwin did one, two, three, hop, followed by one, two, three, hop and turn. Um, now it turns out that while you were hopping, um, you're, you're uh, in this thing called tree fall, which means that essentially you're weightless, so that even a woman who is probably, you know, 40, 50, 60 pounds lighter than you can throw you across the room. Um, so while Chandler was in the air, he was suddenly found himself spun around. And being surprised, he landed on a single leg, a single foot, a single hobnail on his boot. <laughs> which then skidded across the linoleum floor. He lost his uh, grasp on Marwin and kept spinning and turning across the floor toward the door. And in this moment, time slowed down. <laughs> and Chandler thought, ah, I am going to slam into this door. I will catch myself. I will catch my balance. And then I will we'll return to the dance and we'll laugh about it and it will be great. And so he hit the door which flew open <laughs> when he reached it. <laughs> and so Chandler continued falling and saw an unfinished wall and a light switch and some boxes and drums and things and thought, ah, I am falling into a closet. <laughs> I'm falling into a closet that probably has a lot of paint cans and other just really uncomfortable things on the floor. And I'm going to land on them and it's going to hurt a lot. But I'll get back up and we will laugh and we will continue. And Chandler's next thought was, oh, there are stairs here. Boop, <laughs> <laughs> flap, thump, flap, thump. And he landed on his back with his head on the lowest step. And he saw a bright light. And he saw a bright light. And as he looked closer, he saw the light was 60 watts. And so he knew it wasn't that bright light. <laughs> and he looked back up the stairs, craning his neck back. And he saw Marwin at the top of the stairs doing this. <laughs> it's Marwin's patented Oh my god, I killed the newbie look <laughs> I'm not sure how many times she's done it before or since But it was she very, very clear at that practice. time Yeah, it's now at least had some practice now, Of course, it didn't look like that Because it looked upside down From Chandler's point of view And he, not knowing what to do Just kind of sat there and stared back Until slowly Ever so slowly, Elishaba Basriba kind of woke up <laughs> from over the side of the doorway, trying to figure out if they needed to call an ambulance <laughs> or a morgue. <laughs> that was too much for Chandler. He just started giggling. It was funny. So now instead of dead, they thought maybe he was in shock. <laughs> but he did climb his way back up the stairs, apologized to Marwin for his clutziness and uh, 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 declined the rest of the lesson. <laughs> <laughs> but ever since then, when the two of them were at an event together, 
and Road to the Isles was played, they always made sure that they had time uh, for one dance, as long as there were no stairs around. <laughs> so now there was the other part of the story there is that no we don't like to tell. Story. There is. I want to hear it. There is certainly no other part of the story. There is. All right, fine. <laughs> so you remember the part where Chandler put on his garb and went to the thing? Well, it was more like he grabbed his garb and went to the thing so that he could change at the event, which is a habit he still has. <laughs> and uh, he asked where he could change, where are the bathrooms, and he said the kitchen. And so he went to the kitchen, and there were three doors for him to choose from, so of course he went to the first. He opened that door and looked and said, this isn't the bathroom, this is a staircase. <laughs> closed it again, and as he stepped away, realized that the door had failed the latch, and thought, eh, I don't need to go back and fix it, I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> so, have a so that's the rest, that, that's the, the, the appendix to the story. <laughs>